Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we shall be talking about the long-term sources of financing, the advantages and the disadvantages. The first long-term source of financing that we have is ordinary shares, which is the same as common stock. Ordinary shares, this is a permanent source of financing with no maturity date. And ordinary shareholders are the legal owners of the business. They have residue claim on the assets, they have residue claim on income, they are the owners of the firm, so they have voting rights. Limited li liability, they have limited liability in case a company is registered as a limited liability company to the amount of share investment in the firm and they have reemptive rights, i.e. they have priority to buy newly issued shares. Advantages of ordinary shares or common stock to the firm. The first one is dividends is not a fixed financial charge as compared to long-term debt. Therefore, it's not a, man a mandatory. Ordinary shareholders are paid when the business makes profits. And when the business doesn't make profits, it's not a mandatory that they're supposed to pay them. So they do not have a fixed financial charge to the firm. It's a permanent source of capital, security debt, and by issuing common stock, a firm increases its financial base, and when it increases its financial base, it increases its borrowing capacity. It can easily borrow money from financial institutions. Then the disadvantages of ordinary shares, it involves flotation costs. In order for you to issue shares, you, you, you have to pay stock blockers, you have to pay for underwriting, so it involves a lot of costs. And then issuance of new common stock may result into the addition of ownership. When you have many shareholders, you will have the dilute ownership, like you have many people who have control over the business. So that will be the addition of ownership of the firm. Then, because another disadvantage is that the dividends which are paid to the ordinary shareholders are not tax deductible, so taxes are charged on dividends. Another long term source of financing to the business is preference shares. Preference shares refers to those shares which have a preferential rate both on payment of dividends and return of capital compared to the ordinary shares. Like when they are paying dividends, they first pay the preference shareholders before paying the ordinary shareholders. Advantages of preference shares to the firm. The first one is that dividends are mandatory, but non-payment may lead to liquidation like bonds. They do not participate in extra dividends in good years because their their payment of dividends is fixed. Whether the company has made profits or not, they're supposed to pay them dividends. Therefore, in good years where the company has made much profits, they do not participate and they have no voting rights. Then disadvantages. The cost of preference shares is higher than the cost of bonds. Since they are risky and dividends are not tax deductible, so they have a higher cost. Although omitted, their cumulative nature makes their payment mandatory. So for preference shares, payment of dividends is mandatory, which is a disadvantage to the firm. Especially in years where the firm hasn't made any profits. And preference shares have maturity debts, unlike ordinary shares. So it's a less permanent source of finance since it can be redeemed. Another long-term source of financing to the business, we have a bond. A bond is an instrument of indebtedness of the bond issuer to the bondholder. It shows that the bond issuer is demanding the bondholder. And advantages of bonds to the firm. The first one, bondholders have no voting rights. Then bondholders do not participate in extra profits of the firm since their payments are fixed. So they do not participate in extra profits of the firm. And since bondholders perceive less risk, they attach a lower required rate of return. 
bonds are less risky so they require a lower rate of return then they are less expensive than any other source of finance because interest is tax deductible a bond is like a loan so their interest is tax deductible so they are less expensive and they involve no flotation costs then the disadvantages of bonds bond obligations are paid irrespective of whether the company has made profits or not and bondholders can also restrict convenience e.g. they can restrict further borrowing of the firm they can determine the use of an asset another long-term source of financing to the business is lease fi lease financing is a contractual relationship between the leaser and the leasee the leaser is the landlord and the lazy is the user or the tenant. It's also another source of financing to the business. Advantages of lease financing. Lease financing is like renting. You lease something for some period, then when you're done, you return it back, or you can decide to buy it forever. One advantage is that it can be of a greater advantage where the initial outlays are high, hence it reduces on the outflow of cash. When an equipment is expensive and you can't afford it, instead of you buying it, you can just lease it. So it's a great advantage where the initial outlays are high. Then the risk of obsolescence usually lies with the leaser. The risk of the equipment being outdated, it, it lies with the landlord, the owner of the equipment, not you, the leasing. Then maintenance and service is usually the responsibility of the leaser, which is the landlord. The landlord is responsible for maintaining and servicing of that equipment. Disadvantages. The firm forgoes investment allowances, hence does not enjoy an element of tax incentives. You cannot enjoy tax incentives when you do not buy the equipment. Then when the assets reverts to the leaser, it may cause a standstill in the operations and cash flows. When you take back the assets after the contract is done, it, there, there, there will be standstill in operations because the equipment will be gone and there will be standstill in the cash flows of the business. Another long-term source of financing to the business is higher purchase. Higher purchases were an equipment is bought on an installment basis and transfer of property is done on payment of the last installment. The last long-term source of financing is business angels. Business angels are the investors. People who come guide you don't know them, they don't know you, you're not family but they invest in your business with the aim of getting financial gains in the future those are called business angels they are also a source of financing to the business thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends and watch my next video we shall be talking about capital markets